Having said that, we are going to get rid of gay marriage as soon as possible. <laughs> immediate, immediate hyperinflation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So to recap, we have malaria, AIDS, no healthcare whatsoever, no schooling whatsoever, and crime is through the roof. Rule number one for politics. If you run a country well, you get more votes, meaning you stay in power. Today, I thought I'd try a bit of a different challenge. I'm going to attempt to win elections whilst destroying my nation in every way possible. Will I be able to convince the masses to keep me in charge as I tear the country apart in front of their very eyes? All right, we've got the industrial party versus the social democrats. So let's, let's try and find something here. We could be the stop the patriarchy party. The, the no going back party, I like that. The neo-colonialist league. Wow, somehow we are still the good guys in this, I think. Right, so the US has low poverty, sort of decent GDP, decent health, education, all this sort of stuff. Quite high crime. All right, we are going to try and stay in power whilst <laughs> ruining this nation. Right, this is the suitability, which I'm going to completely ignore. I think we're going to go just for religious patriots. So everyone in my cabinet likes the conservatives, basically. So if we just don't piss off the conservatives, we should be fine. What kind of issues do we have? Antisocial behavior, alcohol abuse, abuse. I'm not trying to fix anything, to be fair. I'm just trying to tank the education. So let's go ahead and get a religious emphasis going on. We don't have too long, so we've got to try and get rid of as many liberals as possible, which unfortunately does mean uh, g getting rid of gay marriage. Again, this is a game uh, not reflective of my personal views. Having said that, we are going to get rid of gay marriage as soon as possible. Everyone's a capitalist, which I feel like if I just get rid of taxes, they'd like me. All right, fundamentalist religious, there we go, as America always wanted to be. Oh, we got rid of a food crisis and we've been condemned. What? Our anti-religious policies. I've been doing everything I can to be helpful towards our religious policies. What? Why is the Pope doing this? All right, we're going to increase faith school subsidies. That's the next plan. Uh, in fact, whilst that's ticking up, let's get some of this stuff going. Public services. Public religious broadcasts. There we go. That'll do it. So to recap, the general plan is get as many religious people as possible, keep them happy, and tank education. Do with that information what you will. We're going to have technology backwater on our hands. Yeah, somehow I don't think that that's going to do too well. Uh, Autonomy for Indigenous Nation. I'm going to have to go with historical American uh, ideals here. And obesity. Wow. That is temperamental. Again, we're not looking try to try and improve the... Uh, the nation here. Well, the religious don't like that, so let's, uh, let's just cancel it. We'll just get rid of it. No family planning. We're gonna have an explosion of population in the US pretty soon. And we'll increase our religious banknotes. That's a good start so far. 61% of the vote. This is going well. Again, we had to do this early so we can try and get elected because we don't have too much time. We've become a technology backwater. We did it, boys. So far, so good. Oil drilling. Yeah, let's allow that. Let's ruin the, uh, the environment as well. Education is actually going up. I'm not sure how. Poor voter perceptions. We Because we had a government scandal. Why? That's not good. Oh, that's not good just before the election. All right, we're going to lower press freedom just a little bit. Try and rig this election. Oh, because of that, we're only going to get 39% of the vote. We're going to have to do something radical here. All right, let's do some campaign speeches then. All right, religious, conservatives, capitalist, middle income. Those are the ones we need to hit. Oh, that, that hurts just before the election. It's going to be so close, 49%. We are pulling it back a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not great, but it's fine. Oh, for God's sake, why do they have to burn a holy building now? That's going to lose us the election. Oh, what? Wow. Uh, that skyrocketed. Okay, <laughs> we're doing all right. Everyone generally hates us, but there's enough religious people that it's okay. There's a lot going on with the capitalists. Like, look, look how easy it is to please the conservatives. Only a couple of things. Religious people, even easier. The capitalists, my God. Ooh, uh, a pledge. Do I have to? Um, I'll cut income tax by 25%. How about that? It's a lot to cut a tax by. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think we've won this. No going back party defeats the neo-colonialist league. All right. Let's have a look at the breakdown. Uh, generally, most people didn't vote. The most significant change in my first term was uh, racial tension increasing by 40%. Uh, okay, so we started out sort of like middle ground capitalist and we've gone straight conservative we're literally we are actually donald trump right now okay interesting all right let's continue there are more religious people than everyone good to see so we're missing 200 billion so let's drop this down 
the, the United States Army goes from one of the largest in the world to ceremonial overnight. Everyone's generally a bit pissed off, so we're gonna make them happy by reducing the press freedom. We're only gonna print things that we want to see. Oh, and we fixed obesity. But we do have xenophobic attacks. I hate to say it, but I don't have any plans to deal with that. We have 98% of the, of the vote. Um, what else can we do to, to ruin? All right, well, obviously we don't need to be educated people. Wooden school huts. That sounds good to me. Right, what else can we do here? Well, we can cancel genital mutilation bans. That's gonna look good. Next time we're gonna cancel the uh, death penalty because whilst the conservatives like it, the religious people do not. Oh, and Martha's dead. So we've got max unemployment, max crime, poverty is on its way up, GDP's dropped and health is going down. Education is still rising. <laughs> I'm not sure how, considering we're being educated in wooden school huts. The teachers really are working overtime. I right, to appease the people. They don't want a tobacco tax. We'll get rid of tobacco tax. Since I got rid of the Family Planning Act stuff, uh, there's been a lot more parents. <laughs> I wonder why. Right, I did promise to, to cut income tax. So let's drop that. There you go. Look at that. Brilliant. We're going to go into a lot of debt here. Uh, credit, credit rates is downgraded again. Education, still sky high. I'm not sure what else I could do to get rid of this. Ah, space program. That's where we're spending money. Get rid of that. That's helping technology a bit too much. Okay, we don't have prison overcrowding, but we do have hospital overcrowding. Basically, we injured everyone, and now they're in a different location. I don't know what I should fix, because, like, I don't know how far I'm taking this. Am I just ruining America while staying in charge? I if so, let's double down. Oh, no! My last term in power? Well, that won't do. Man, our popularity really, like, just dropped. What did we do that made it drop? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did. All right, we can increase our time limit to three. That should give us a bit more time here. Dead crisis! <laughs> oh, God. What does everyone hate? Everyone hates human development. Probably the lack of, not actual human development. Well, we're going all in. We got rid of income tax, boys. And that's made things a lot worse. We've got to give a hell of a speech now. All right, conservatives. Oh, religious people plus three. Look at that, that's the perfect one with no downside. All right, caps is like this, there we go, let's do that. Lots of little things that we can do. Middle income likes this, there we go. Undercover investigators for welfare department fraud. We actually make more money on that than it costs, so that's good. Why do they keep burning holy buildings the second there's an election? Health tax credits. Oh, the middle income love that. Oh, they, they adore that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, emergency powers are in place, that's good. That gives us loads of political capital. Children's food. Not interfering with the free market. Oh, the Patriots are going to love us after this one. Do we not have any Patriots anymore? The, the Patriots do not consist of much of the population. I suppose that makes sense. There's not much to be proud of. I mean, no one likes the debt crisis, but equally it does give me sweeping powers. I almost fixed it by mistake, but then uh, government debt's been steadily rising ever since I got rid of the income tax. Oh, it's a bit closer than the last time, but I think we just snuck it at the end. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Less of the vote than last time, but that's fine. Another martyr's dead. Honestly, we're burning through people. Fake news! <laughs> I'm surprised it took this long. We can have foreign intelligence interference. You're telling me the US didn't have that already. I'm trying to get crime down. I need health to go down further. I need education to drop further as well. well let's get rid of technology, colleges. Uh, what else makes you drop? We've got state schools. Get rid of the state schools. Simple. People are increasingly polarized. I wonder why. Allow foreign fights to return. No. Hey, look at that! We've really turned it around with this. People really enjoyed the fact that I got rid of state schools. All right, let's get all media monitored. That'll help us look like a trustworthy, strong, compassionate leader. And we'll implement a state religion. I feel that's long overdue. Race Discrimination Act. <laughs> that's not also not a good look, but it's necessary to achieve our aims. Now, I am going to implement an immigrant tax. <laughs> this feels like a good time to mention that I myself am half Arab, so do with that information what you will. Man, I'm really screwing over the ethnic minorities here. Sorry, lads. <laughs> I could try and fix the debt crisis. Nah, they don't deserve it. People keep on signing up to beat new members. People are generally supportive, if not fanatically supportive. My god, the, the Neo-Colonious League. Well, to be fair, I, I suppose if you're an ethnic minority, the Neo-Colonious League doesn't really seem like that good of an option. Oh, we could ban private education. I'm going to do that despite the fact that it pisses off the capitalists. I'm going to uh, have a total ban on private schools, whilst we don't actually have any state schools. So there is no education in this country. We're actually receiving foreign aid. People are paying us foreign aid because our GDP is so low. 
Unemployment is, well, that's been high for a while. Crime's low. We need more poverty. Oh, let's do that. Let's increase inflation. That's just, that was the first willful thing that I did to screw over the nation. Everything else has been like to keep me in power. All right, let's uh, get rid of any sort of gun restriction. There we go, no limit. Everyone has a gun. This lawless land. To be fair, crime's okay. We're okay on crime. Jesus Christ, people are so like temperamental. Was it 94% and now I'm at 54? What happened? What changed? Let's get some uh, immigration enforcement forces involved. I don't think anyone's immigrating to America in its current state. Health is actually going up. How? We're gonna ban private healthcare. <laughs> I'm not having that. There we go. Total ban. <laughs> We're gonna give a speech for the ethnic minorities. See if we can get them on board. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think we will. I hope we're better than that. Okay, yeah, the margin keeps on growing. This is good. We're gonna go for some helicopter money. It's gonna airdrop everyone some cash. Uh, and we're gonna increase our money supply. <laughs> immediate, immediate hyperinflation. Most of our issues like have been solved, apart from the economic ones though. It's time to get rid of the uh, alcohol tax so you can get people drinking again. Oh, an extremist state within our territory. Brilliant. And a corporate exodus. I wonder why. Because of hyperinflation. I mean, let's just get rid of that. We don't we don't have intellectual property, intellectual property rights. They don't exist in this country. And COVID is hit. <laughs> Who airstruck us? Who bombed us? The Canadians? All right, health is plummeting. This is good. Education also plummeting. How do I increase poverty? If I increase minimum wage, poverty goes down. So let's get rid of the minimum wage. Poor voter perceptions. I, I can see why you might think that. But counterpoint, here's me filming myself with a baby lamb. Media censorship is boosting, boosting success chance. That's what I like to see. Ah, forced political uh, military religious oaths. That sounds good. For all citizens. FGM report shame. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised by that because we don't actually have rights for most people in this country. Which, if you think about it, is the most equality. <laughs> That's the most temperamental chart I've ever seen. Why is this dropping? We were like 95% for so long. What happened? Patriots no longer like us? Well, I have one way to make you like us. It's gonna cost us 150 billion, but suddenly we're gonna do a bout face on, uh, on our military. Ban foreign church services. <laughs> yeah, why not? Landslide victories all day. We just can't stop winning, boys. Everyone's loyal, so let's not do that. And poverty's going through the roof. This is what we want to see. So the last thing to do is to allow crime to run rampant. Why? We don't need it. We now have a homelessness problem. I'm not surprised. That should increase crime, which means let's get rid of the police force. Defund the police completely. Uh, what else would increase crime? CCTV cameras, get rid of that. Okay, nice, crime's increasing. M malaria is now a thing. <laughs> Alcohol abuse is a thing. HIV AIDS is gonna be a thing. Oh God, <laughs> oh Jesus. So to recap, we have malaria, AIDS, no healthcare whatsoever, no schooling whatsoever, and crime is through the roof. Nice, number one in guns. That's incredible. Well done, America. Pretty sure we were already number one in guns, but now we're even more number one in guns. Oh, what? No limits on alcohol, obviously. Why would we do that? Why would we limit alcohol? It's, it's funny, Juice, guys. It increases crime. <laughs> this is 100% one of the worst nations on Earth, if not the worst at this point. Like, North Korea is looking at this nation being like, Jesus Christ, we should, we should help. Antisocial behavior. That's increasing crime. Lovely. Food shortages. And 23% of the vote. I wonder why. Vigilante mobs have formed. Oh, my God. And a holy building's burned. There is no way. 3% of the election. All right. Crime is increased to damn near the majority it can. Uh, poverty is high. Education is low. Health and GDP have been zero for a while. We get 1% of the vote. Man, people really, really are not a fan anymore. Everyone's pissed off because, well, everything's a mess. Good scandal. 0% of the vote. Well, there's one thing we can do. We can just rig the elections. <laughs> Even by rigging the election, I still think we're not going to get enough, uh, enough votes. Here we go. No, the Neocolonist League has defeated us. Who could have seen this coming? I want to know what the hell's wrong with the 36 million people. All right, well, I think that's, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Neocolonialist League has won uh, during our time since we were first elected. Uh, democracy has changed by minus 100%. Inflation's got up by almost 100. Money supplies got up by almost 100. Private health has dropped. Purchase powers dropped. Corruption's increased. Immigration demand has gone down. Investments increased. That's nice. Stability's gone down though. Um, and basically, this country is an absolute mess. So we're gonna retire into obscurity, and I'm gonna thank you all very much for watching this video. Uh, 
yeah, let me know what other sort of stuff you would get up to in Democracy 4 or indeed other sorts of political simulators. I've got a really cool idea involving the, uh, the Discord for um, a video, which I think will be great fun. So make sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. Otherwise, lads, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It does help us out, especially when we're playing like niche games like this. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321, Shadow Singer, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.